Hi everybody, how's it going? Hope everyone's doing well. Um, today I'm going to finally get to filming this video. I've been putting this off for far too long, so I do apologize for that. Um, so thanks for your patience and thanks to those of you on YouTube who have been relentlessly reminding me to get this video done. So with that said, there's a lot to film and see here and I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'm going to film this in two parts and uh, clip it all together into one video. So uh, before I get started, I'd like to say that I'm extremely blessed and fortunate to have what I have here. This is my life's work so far, and there's some really, really cool stuff here. So let's get started. Um, on my left here, we've got up first a 2008 or 2009 Fender Jazz Bass Getty Lee Signature model um, made in Japan right before production shifted to Mexico. Um, and beautiful sunburst finish. Uh, great jazz bass, great player. Sounds awesome. Everything is original except I swapped out the uh, strap buttons for shallower strap locks. I swapped out the pickups for Tom Brantley jazz bass pickups, which sound great. Tom is an awesome person. World class. Um, that's all there really is to say. Also swapped out the tuners for hip shot tuners with a drop D tuner on there too. Moving onward, we've got probably my most rarest instrument here. Most rare. This is a 1981 Rickenbacker, Rickenbacker, however you want to say it. 4080 double neck. Um, I picked this up on Reverb. Um, I want to say... January of 2019 it was snowing like hell I was at work came across the listing and I said I gotta go I got you know I got something to, I got something to go do so I left work drove in the it was icy and snowy and it was slippery out it was crazy drove frantically and I picked it up and I became great friends with the seller and um, just a fantastic Ricky. Um, everything's original except I swapped out the original bridge for a hip shot brass bridge. Um, I really like these bridges. I think you can get more sustain, far lower action, side to side string spacing. Um, a little bit heavier, but um, sounds fantastic. And um, they are a uh, drop-in replacement, so super easy. People often ask how heavy this thing is, and I haven't weighed it, but um, my shoulder is telling me I would want to say about 14 to 15 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. Let's put that guy back. Um, over here, we've got a Fender Jazz Bass made in Mexico, 62 reissue. This was given to me by Coheed and Cambria. It's a really long story. Not going to get into that one today, but this is a really, really good player, and this belonged to Michael Todd. Um, he played a lot of shows on this instrument. It was on a couple other albums, uh, so has a lot of history, and... Um, Sounds and plays great. Definitely a keeper, that's for sure. All right. Up next, we have a Rickenbacker 4001 CS, Chris Squire, limited edition. Um, this is a 1997, I want to say. Super clean. Um, I did take off the horseshoe or the horseshoes because they are strictly cosmetic on the ones post 1960. And unfortunately, it's right where I like to play. So, um, I had to take those off. No big deal. And I also swapped out the bridge for, you name it, hip shot. Awesome. Super clean. I don't think I don't I honestly don't think there's even a scratch on it. Plays fantastic. Sounds great. Oh, and I also did put in a point zero zero four seven capacitor because I really like the sound of those and 
um, I wanted it to sound a lot more like a 4001, so I did put the cap in. Okay, over here we've got a Fender Jazz Bass 1972. Um, I picked this up about two weeks ago, uh, just got some fret work done on it, plays fantastic, sounds absolutely killer. Um, I did a clip of it with uh, Tom Sawyer, and um, it's just, it has that, it just has that tone. Uh, fantastic. Uh, super early 72. The pots actually date uh, late 1971, so um, very clean, really thin neck. Uh, frets are in nice condition. Eventually, I probably will have it refretted, but... I'm going to play it until I can't play it anymore. Okay. Um, I've got another Fender Getty Lee signature here. Excuse me. This is a crafted in Japan one. Um, essentially, Evil Twins with uh, Sunburst one. Uh, except this one is from... I want to say 2001, something like that. Um, I also put uh, Tom Brantley jazz bass, jazz bass pickups, and I also swapped out the uh, strap buttons for strap locks and the same hip shot tuner thing. Everything's here. Um, that's that one. Plays great, sounds great, straight neck. All right, I'm going to take a little break here, and then I'll hit you with part two. Stay tuned. All right, welcome to part two. Here's where it gets really good, I promise. Over here on my far left, possibly the luckiest I've ever gotten in my life. Probably hit better odds of winning the lottery or getting struck by lightning. Not kind of what I'll play. I don't get struck by lightning, but dead ass serious crazy lucky it was just in the right place at the right time the perfect time um 2017 wall mark one made in england by the great little company wall um this is right around the time ironically last year where i was looking a sickening amount of times every day probably 10 or 15 freaking times every day on reverb talk base ebay i mean every instrument selling platform i was looking at because i just had to have one i've always wanted one and i just had to have just had to have it so let's never never forget this so i was laying in bed at like three in the morning i was like half asleep on talk base looking i'm like Ugh. and i'm like looking around and i happen to refresh the page and here just pops up you know the perfect used wall 2017 black with the gold hardware the gold tuner the the perfect combination i mean this is exactly what i wanted but i didn't want to have to wait three and a half years so i'm scrambling i i, I messaged the guy and i'm like don't make a deal with anyone else until we talk and he's just like all right all right so i think i was the second person and um there was one other person who was getting ready to possibly purchase it and i'm like whoa 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 so i'm i am transferring cash i am using multiple credit i mean the whole nine yards like you have how do i say it you have zero time to dick around when you're trying to get a used wall. There is zero hesitation time. You've got to be ready. You've got to have your cash ready to go, period. There is zero time to screw around. So thankfully, I got really lucky, um, super, super lucky. And, um, I actually got this was like last year, I want to say like May 12th. And I actually hated it at first. I did not like it. I had this really kind of wide 50s style P bass neck. And I didn't really like it at first, but I stuck with it. And now I absolutely love it. So 
that's the story of the wall. I've actually had two of these um, at one time, which is even crazier. Um, it was in 1985. I actually sold it around Halloween, and um, that was an awesome one, too. Holy crap. Um, up next, my number one favorite wreck, hands down. Um, wow. 1983. I've owned this now since, like... 2018 um and it's just it is killer thin neck straight neck low action um 1983 4003 transition year um essentially a 4001 just with a uh, split pick guard stronger truss rods and wavy grover tuners the rest it was all 4,001. Swapped out the bridge, of course, hip shot bridge. Um, yeah, my all-time favorite Rick. I will probably go to my grave with me because I love this thing so much. Over here, we've got a Dan Electro DC-59, I want to say. Was over at Sweetwater last summer, and I'm looking around, and this was like right around the time when Sweetwater started carrying these, and I picked it up, and I'm like, this thing's like four pounds, and it has this really, really tiny like neck on it. Plays super quick. I mean, it's such a fast player. It's it's crazy. Um, I think it was like 500 bucks or something. I mean, super cheap. But it man sounds awesome, plays fabulously. And last up, a 2011 Spectre Euro. Killer. EMG pickups, tone pump preamp. Um I've owned probably three of these, and this is by far the coolest playing and coolest sounding specter i've ever had and um i will keep this one forever that's for sure so uh that's pretty much it that's the entire shit right there that's everything that i have um thank you everyone for watching um i appreciate it thank you thank you um closing in i think 700 subscribers so i appreciate that and um if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot.